Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sean Carlson. I am from Williams Lake, British Columbia, Canada. As of a few minutes ago, I was trying to watch a movie in my house when I was disturbed when a giant house spider crawled right beside me underneath my arm. And I actually thought it was an ant because I'm having ant problems. And the shadow from that but from that end, it seemed a lot bigger than normal. So I turned on the light, and sure enough, it's what it's a giant house spider. I wanted to show you guys what I have, what I'm dealing with. It's still alive. And I have my tripod here. I took a few pictures of it, and I got it on Facebook. But this here is called a giant house spider. And it is right there. I'm going to zoom in on it. And that there critter is still alive. Now, like, why the hell can't I get zoom in? Now that's as big as they get. That is full size. That there is a giant house spider. The botanical or the biological name of it is Tagenaria duelica. And unfortunately, I have several of those little bastards running around in my house right now. Because if there is one, then there is more. I wanted to show all the YouTubers this spider here. And as you can see, as it is a fact, spiders cannot get out of a glass surface. That's why they're stuck in your sink. That's why I have it in a glass bowl here, is because it will never... It will never leave glass bowl. I can leave that spider in there for days and days and days. And believe it or not, he has trouble getting out. If you want to see how fast he moves, I'm going to disturb him. Just so you have an idea of how fast he moves and what it looks like when he moves. Fuck. So here we go. This is a slurpy straw. Do you see how quick he's moving? Now he moves a lot faster than that. Believe me, he does. Now, do these spiders bite? You sure as hell sh guess right that yes they do. They fucking bite. That thing, I'm going to try to get close up on it. You can see it's got two fangs in front of it. Well, yes, those fangs are actual friggin' biters on that, and that thing leaves two red bumps on your body. Now, the difference between this spider and a hobo spider is the fact that this spider has two eyes. Hobo spiders have four eyes. And I know that for a fact because when you kill this cocksucker and you look at his head, he's got two eyes. This is a male, by the way. If you want to know what makes this a male, it is because of his body, the way his body looks. If you look at the, um, the abdomen at the bottom part there, on a female, that abdomen will be bloated up and it will be like a sack. All females have a sack on them. This one has a slender abdomen on it, and it is it has been living in my house. And, I, and um, I do not know what the lifespan of these spiders is, but this one's going to have a short lifespan. Because I'm going to fucking kill it. The reason why I'm going to fucking kill it is because if it's in my house, then if I let it free, he's going to breed with other spiders, you're going to make more babies, those babies are going to come into my house. If I fucking kill this bastard, he's going to stop the breeding process. So I'm going to bug him around here yeah just to, so you guys have an idea of how he moves but that is creepy creepy these spiders like it when it's dry it's hot and they like dark places and I was watching a movie at night when this guy was crawling around I was told by an entomologist in Victoria British Columbia that this guy only comes out looking for females so if he's looking for females in my house, that means he's probably going to friggin' find one. 
Now, another thing. This thing spins webs in your backyard, and if you have a lot of dry grass, you're going to see a lot of funnel webs. These things like to spin those webs, and they live inside the funnel. What's the best way to kill them? The best way that I find on how to kill those spiders is with a product that I bought at Canadian Tire. This here's the product. Right there, I, I bought that at a Canadian Tire for $6 a bottle. You put that on the perimeter of your house, the ants and the spiders and stuff. They, they bring that in and then they, it's like a toxic poison, it kills them. But if you ever want to know how to look at this spider a lot closer, you can kill it by putting boiling water right on top of it. Lots of insects cannot handle heat or anything hot. If I put boiling water or even hot water from the tap, that's going to kill it immediately. And then you can toy around with it. You can look under the microscope. You can do whatever the hell you want. But if you want to look at a, a specimen while it's dead and still whole, put it in boiling water and fucking kill it that way. Other than that, there's not much use I have for this spider. And yes, it does bite. It leaves red bumps on your body. This is not a hobo spider. This is a giant house spider from what I was told in Victoria. And this is... This is... Right now I'm agitating him. Just to make him pissed off. But... If you have a household that's dry, that's dark, and cool, you'll find lots of these spiders. Unfortunately, if you want to get rid of them a lot faster, I highly suggest you water your lawn a lot more. Every day I highly suggest that you, that you um, get rid of them by water, spraying them with a hose. They don't like anything wet, they'll stay away from anything wet. Um, as for finished carpentry, make sure the guy who builds your house seals up all the corners. In my basement suite here that I live in, this particular spider probably got in through all the holes that I have in my house. So, there you go. My name is Sean Carlson from Williams Lake, British Columbia, Canada. And if at all you wish to add me as a friend on Facebook to see this the pictures that I got of this spider, you are more than welcome to add me. My email address is on Facebook, Sean Blackjack Carlson at hotmail.com. That's Sean spelt the real way, S H A W N, Blackjack and Carlson, all one word. If you guys have any input on this spider, feel free to send me. Uh, the info you have. I'm going to turn this video off right now. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.